Yo, it's your boy, Straight Boss OVA from Straight Smoke Gaming. Welcome back to the series we we're doing where we're starting GTA 5 Online all over again in the year 2021. Um, if you did not see Chapter 1, Volume 1, Episode 1, wherever you want to call it, there'll be a link in the description. You want to check that out first, obviously, as here we're picking up right where we left off from that video. And what we got have going on here, we have a hair over five million dollars on in the bank and we have a little over a half million dollars cash now this week that we have here we had uh ceo uh offices on sale for 60 percent off which is a huge discount so it was definitely time to invest so here at the beginning of this video we're going to be investing a little bit and we're going to be uh treating ourselves to a nice little um vehicle that I took advantage of while it was on sale. You can see here, I got the accommodation for me to be able to spawn in there. I did not get the safe. If anyone knows what the safe is good for at the CEO office, please go ahead and comment. I have no idea what the safe is good for. Um, even on my main account, I have tons of money on that main account. And I just don't know the idea of the safe. I don't get it. But I did get a gun locker so I could uh, customize my weapon wheel. I feel like that would be uh, a little important. And at the 60% off discount, I went to go ahead and do it. Here, I splurged a little bit. Um, I went ahead and bought all the garage floors. This is probably a mistake. I'm going to admit it. It was a mistake. But I wanted to treat myself a little bit uh, due to the grinding that I had done in the first month. And so, yeah, I... At the 60% discount, I decided, screw it. I'm going to go ahead and get them all. I only made the first floor, the first garage floor, exactly how I want it. The other ones I just bought, um, you know, and I'll, I'll upgrade them later with the lights and signage and whatnot. But here we go. I treated myself. This was on sale, and I absolutely love the RC tank. Absolutely love the RC tank. It is a good trolling vehicle. If you ever get pinned down... And some PvP against some PvP gods. Um, I bust this out. And this thing has saved my ass several times. Um, I'll talk more about this very briefly way later in the video. But um, yeah, this thing. I scooped it up. It was, I believe, 40% off. So yeah, I spent a little bit of money there. And I picked this up. <laughs> Not really a grinding vehicle. And I'm a big time grinder. But I picked it up anyway. So you can see what I'm left with. Is two million dollars here over two million dollars and now let's right back to the grind i was lucky enough that they had missions um for double cash and rp again two weeks in a row so i went ahead cashed in on that and i i grinded these missions ground these missions until honestly god i was actually starting to get tired of them and that's saying a lot coming from me because i grind till people were you know like what the hell are you doing you know uh, but uh yeah i was to the point where i didn't even like doing these missions with other people because they were making mistakes and i was i was just getting annoyed and i was like uh you know so i would even do these sometimes by myself um you know when i drag them out so i get paid more but yeah these missions i i took advantage of these missions i made a ton of money i talked about how much money i made in the uh the first video with uh, the first week that the missions were double money, but then the Simeon Repo missions were double money again two weeks in a row, and I cashed in on that for sure. And you can see here, the pay like on, on Sasquatch was, oh man, dude, $44,000 on a mission. That's Okay, here, i just go ahead and show a clip here. I could have got this gun so much earlier, but then I forgot about it. But this is my favorite... Um, this is my favorite shotgun in the game, the, the assault shotgun. It's good for up-close combat. You unlock it at rank 35 or 38, something like that. So I had to show a clip of that. Here, I wanted to show this. This is a this is a clip of what a lot of people do as a mistake. So you can see here, we're doing a mission here. I'm the highest ranked out of the four people doing this mission. And I'm riding with some guy in a green alien outfit. And I'm pretty sure this is a Betty's van, uh, based on the customization of the speakers in the back. And I just figured, like, you are a lower level than me, and you are blowing money at Betty's. I haven't even purchased an outfit yet. I haven't even clothes shopped or anything. And this lower level than me is blowing money at Betty's that 
boggles my mind, okay? Here, I want to point out that I was doing a lot of sightseers when the missions weren't double anymore. I was doing a lot of sightseers, so I was wanted to point that out. Here, they had um, the CEO warehouses for the special cargo on sale. And uh, if you have seen any videos on my main account, I made a ton of money on crates. I I like running crates. It's kind of mind-numbing, but, you know, I just plop down for a couple hours, maybe drink, listen to music while I'm doing it, and I'm in a good mind frame, mindset when I do this, and I grind a ton of money from this. So I went ahead. I didn't want to get a large warehouse. If you're a serious grinder, get a large warehouse. Here on this account, um, I just went with a medium warehouse. It was a half million dollars. So not that big of a price. I'm not grinding this like my main account, so I was happy with a medium warehouse. If you're not much of a grinder, medium warehouse is going to be okay for you. If you are a grinder, get the large warehouse. It's well worth it. Okay, so with that being said, uh, with this week, I did grind special cargo for a amount, more than I thought I was going to do, actually, and I used the double money for missions and money from VIP work to pay for my crates. With that being said, this money here, four sales, total earnings of over $5 million, I consider that pure profit. I consider that $5 million all profit due to the fact that I used the, the double money on the missions and... Uh, VIP work, okay? So the following week, here we had hangers on sale. You can see here, the workshop was going to cost over a million. I was like, no. I bought bare minimum. I bought the hangar. I chose a different location down by the airport rather than the military base just for something different. You can see here, I got the cheapest hangar in the game. It was 60% off. That was a huge discount. And on top of that, the hangar cargo was double money as well. Here I had uh, Big Hoss helping me sell my full hangar. I pull in uh, 1.5 million, I'm pretty sure, hair over 1.5, and there you go. That's that's all profit. That's what that's one of the things I like about the hangar. It's all profit. There's no upfront cost to do the the air freight. Okay, so I took the profit that I made from the air freight, and I went ahead and I spent that 1.5. On a Savage. This was my first weaponized vehicle purchased. Okay. I don't have a weaponized vehicle yet. I've done all this grinding without a weaponized vehicle. And it's, you know, it hasn't been as bad as I thought it would be. I'll put it that way. And uh, I don't, uh, here, uh, Lamar missions were double money another week. Uh, Lamar and Mark Madrazo missions were double money. And I had to include this clip of me getting absolutely lasered in these missions. I don't, uh, trust me guys, I, I make a ton of mistakes, and in this particular mission, I, me and the team I was with died a ton, and I'm not afraid to show that, I really don't care, so I went ahead and I showed it anyway. Okay, here's something that I didn't like doing, um, the Terabyte was on sale, okay, with the Terabyte being on sale, you need a nightclub, okay, and also, before I get into that too much, if anyone knows what the dry ice does for the nightclub, I don't know if that ups popularity or anything or what, but the dry ice was actually a fair amount of money, and I was not buying that. And then, obviously, you buy a nightclub, you got to get the warehouse technicians. I only have two MC businesses, so I only bought one other technician. Technically, I could hire a third, but it wasn't on sale. And I absolutely hate buying things that are on sale. So I bought a nightclub, not the most expensive, not the cheapest, but none of the nightclub stuff was on sale, and that pains me to do that. I am so big on buying stuff on sale. I hate buying, I hate spending full price on stuff. It just drives me nuts. But I did it because the Terabyte was on sale. The Terabyte hasn't been on sale since Black Friday, and I didn't know when it was going to go on sale again, so I was like, yo, I need this. I got all the upgrades because... It was on sale, and I'm getting a fully loaded terabyte for a hair over $2 million. How could you not do this? I mean, I had to purchase it this week, and in order to purchase this, I needed a nightclub that I paid full price for, which, oh, I, it just pisses me off thinking about it right now, honestly, but I needed the terabyte because the Mark II days are coming. Also, this week, uh, the laser weapons were 40% off. This gun right here, the up and atomizer, absolutely was going to purchase purchase this because 
this is four hundred thousand dollars, I believe, normally, and I got it for whatever that was, two hundred eighty something. I don't know. Um, so that is a grinder's key weapon right there. That is a big tool, not a weapon. It's more so a tool for a grinder. But I had to pick that up because that'll get things unstuck for me when I screw up. So, all right, here we're just going over some stats here. Just talking about I wanted to show uh, how many helicopters I stole. I stole 67 helicopters because I'm running sightseers so much. Um, there's my cash I've made from jobs. I made over $9 million in, uh, just doing jobs and whatnot. Um, as far as we go up to vehicles here, um, you can sell a vehicle off the streets for every uh, 48 minutes. I've made $450,000 in just selling vehicles off the street every 48 minutes. Going to taking a vehicle off the street, taking it to the custom shop, selling it. Also taking vehicles down to Simeon if you steal one that is wanted by him as well. I'm happy that I got my shooting up there. Um, doing that special cargo got my shooting up here. Here I'm showing my profits off the counterfeit cash. Last video I only had just under 1.5 million. Here I'm up to 3.2. On the Coke side of things, I was at a hair over 2 million. And you see what I'm at now, I'm at 4.6 million. So I'm making tons of money here. I'm making a lot of money. Um, I finally hit a rank 100. I'm able to buy RPGs now. Um, so yeah, things are going really well. It's only been two months. I've hit rank 100. I got a good amount of money. I got one weaponized vehicle, but and well, and I have a terabyte now. I have some passive income with the nightclub, so things are going good, guys. Uh, we'll see you in again in about four or five weeks. Go ahead, check the description for the links to the videos mentioned. Also, stay tuned this week because we have a very big week. Another Red Dead video tomorrow. Jay and Orb will be back on Sunday, and I'll be back Monday with a horse review.